try and get a video for the collective now. Hope you can hear me okay over the air conditioner. I may have to turn it off. In fact, let me go ahead and do that now. Here, can you please go to this reading and help me to get a message for the collective, please? Alrighty then, everything looks good with the energy. Holy Spirit, can you please scatter our enemies and keep them away? Put a shield of protection around the collective as we channel these energies and get a message from you this morning. Holy Spirit, can you please show up and allow the gifts that I have to be used for the, for the greatest good of all who might see this video? What cards would you like to begin with, Spirit? Alright. We're going to start with the White Witch. And get the overall energy. Alright, Spirit, what's the overall energy for the collective today? What overall energy are we working with today in the collective? Thank you so very much. We have the devil in reverse. That's a good place to have the devil, but we have the fool in reverse also. Alright, let me say that I feel that whoever we're dealing with, somebody had to get this devil under control. There was no opportunity for any further, any relationship to further to move ahead without getting this devil in control whether it's a person whether it's an obsession from a person an obsession from an addiction what you know negativity anger whatever this represents there was no chance of moving ahead but as you can see there's still no chance and i think that the reason why is because there's a need for forgiveness of whatever happened in the past when this was actually upright, okay? But I don't know, we'll see what comes out. How about those? Okay, Spirit, how do you wanna proceed? How do you wanna find out what to do next? How do we find out what to do next? To get the angel cards? Okay. Angel cards now, let's find out how the angels are working in our lives today. Come and help me, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, all the Archangels that are available to help me with this reading. Can you please come right now and help me with this reading? How are you working in our home lives, Holy Spirit? Can you show me how you're working in our home? Oh, thank you. That card didn't even go in there, y'all. How about that? This is the hanged man. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. Even though it doesn't go in that deck, I'm going to leave it. Okay. Angels, how are you working in our home lives? Nothing in a reading happens by accident, okay? Inspiration. In our home lives, there's going to be an angel that helps us with inspiration. Somebody's working on creating something, and it could be like candles, spell work, it could be intention candles, it could be anything, really, but it's very, very creative, whatever you're working on, and it looks like it involves something like, um, something natural something natural somebody has long brown hair and they keep it pulled back behind their ear somebody's sitting in a big nice work chair at their desk i see feathers you might be finding feathers you might be finding flowers also 
angels will let you know that they're that you're on the path. All right, how are the angels working in our work life? Love life. Talk about our love life. Thank you. Okay, they're helping us to stay grounded and giving us wisdom. All right, so in our love life, they're helping us to stay grounded and giving us wisdom. Somebody's studying, somebody's reading a book, maybe they're writing in a journal. Somebody's doing guided meditations. Somebody has long sh um, brown hair, comes below the shoulders. Might have some um, highlights in it. Yellow flowers are somehow significant. Pink roses. Somebody has really long, blonde, beautiful, curly hair. Somebody has on um, a a shirt that comes off your shoulder that shows your um, your t-shirt or your, um, your strap to your shirt it shows your strap <coughs> somebody likes to sit out by the water um, mushrooms are standing out me somebody has a tree swing All right, so wisdom and grounding. And grounding is about getting outside into nature and grounding ourselves. And if you can't get outside, then you can ground yourself through meditation. So in our home life, we have inspiration. And then in our love life, we have wisdom and grounding. All right, what surprise do we have today? What other angels do we have? Okay, music. Adventure, solitude, and help. Again, <clears throat> somebody's going through some health problems, some health issues, and Spirit says your surprise for today is that there's an angel helping you. Somebody is definitely dealing with a chronic or I'm going to say chronic, a chronic illness, but I also think that there's a terminal illness that someone's dealing with. Somebody has a, a dog that's crossed over that's with them. And it's with this angel. You have an angel that has a dog with it. Somebody has on a blue polo shirt, black rimmed glasses. Hair's cut real close, long blonde hair. Somebody has on a white button up shirt. Somebody has on a sundry or like a, a top that ties around your neck and it's sleeveless. Somebody has their hair in a bun. Somebody might be going for a cancer treatment from chemo today and if so, I'm sending you a lot of love. Or you might be having some other kind of treatment for an autoimmune disease or some other kind of chronic illness. Okay, so for our surprise today, we have health, solitude, adventure, health, solitude, adventure, and music. <clears throat> All right, and what is our role today, Spirit? Can you show me our role and how the angels are helping us with our role? Thank you so very much. All right, our role today is new beginnings. There's going to be a new beginning. Wow. Awesome. Somebody's, somebody's at the ocean like I am. Somebody has a beautiful white skirt. You like to go barefooted. You got short, um, sandy brownish blonde hair. Very beautiful. All right, what's the outcome today, Spirit? How are the angels helping us with the outcome? That's a lot of cards, Spirit. Take them. Angel of Remembrance. 
determination, procrastination, communication, unity, soulmates, comfort. Alright, so the outcome is this angel of remembrance. And this is remembering somebody who's crossed over. And I'm going to be honest with you, this um, angel of new beginnings could be somebody who has recently or will soon cross over, just being honest. And if that's the case, I'm truly sorry um, for your loss and for what you're going through. The angel of remembrance is other people who already are crossed over being with us. Somehow red and blue flowers are significant yellow flowers, um, a blue and white striped shirt. Somebody has several holes of earrings in their ears. A ladybug. Somehow a ladybug is significant. Somehow fish are significant. Somebody has beautiful, beautiful, the most beautiful blue eyes I've ever seen. They look like staring into the Mediterranean Sea. They're so blue. And this person has at least three people who are crossed over. It looks like parents or grandparents and maybe a brother or an uncle or a friend, very young person, um, to be, yeah, it's a very young person, so it could also be twins, lots of feathers. Okay, so today's outcome, we're going to be comforted through our health issues. The angels are going to help us with these soulmates or twin flames. We're going to have unity. Sometimes that can mean an actual unit, but it doesn't have to. It could mean that we are just going to be united as a family on this channel or in general. We're going to have communication. And then they're going to help us with procrastination. Somebody has a t-shirt that has something printed on the front of it. You have on headphones. Somebody has on headphones. Somebody has on blue jeans. Somebody has on a pair of scrubs with a white t-shirt. Scrub bottom, scrub pants, and a white t-shirt. Somebody has their hair cut really short on the sides and longer on the top. That's, that's for a man. Um, Somebody is trying to learn some really hard stuff, like something about communication systems or algebra or trigonometry or something very complex. It could be some type of um, belief system that you're learning, but it's very complex and you've been procrastinating Spirit's going to help you with that. Somebody has on red pants. Somebody has on a watch, like a smart watch. Somebody works somewhere in a building that has an escalator, and they dress in very sharp business clothes and carry a briefcase. You wear your hair up a lot. You have to take that escalator to get to your office. You have an office in a very beautiful corner of the of the building. So we're going to have help with procrastination, and we're going to be determined. Determined. So we're going to have comfort. We're going to have help with these soulmates. We're going to have unity, communication, determination, procrastination, and remembrance. That's a lot. That's a lot of angels, right? A lot of angels. Okay. Alright. And then on the bottom of this deck, we have 
the angel of encouragement. Some of you might be planning on entering a race, like a marathon or a 5K or a 10K, or you might be a runner and you just enjoy running for, for exercise. But it sure looks like you might run with other people. At least two other people are running with you. Might be planning on, might be finding feathers when you run or other items that uh, you know are there because you were meant to find them. All right, how do you want to go for, forward now, Spirit? This is the hanged man. Somebody's third eye is open. Somebody has a pair of shoes with a, a wedge heel that have a hole in the inside of the heel that are green. <coughs> Somebody has a gray colored white, very beautiful hairstyle or wig and it's kind of wavy black dress. Huh, what do you want to do now? Let's see, what color do we want to use now? We're going to go with these. And we might use those also. Those, um, the, uh, those are the new ones, the used to row. Alright, alright, right out of the gate, I've got a seven of swords and, and a, um, a king of pentacles. And I feel like that's where this apology is going to need to come in. And without it, this relationship can't move any further. Somebody, it's something I think from the past though. It could be something recent, but it doesn't feel recent. It just feels like something that's never really been discussed. Because somebody doesn't like to talk about their feelings. Yep. Knight of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Alright. So talk to me about our home life. How are we working in our home life? That was quick. The world card and the six of swords in reverse. Alright, as we know this world card can indicate travel, the closing out of a cycle, the end of an era, and the six of swords is usually about going somewhere calmer or having a, a calmer headspace, but it's in reverse, so that's not going to be the case with this closing out. And I think it's because there needs to be something, a conversation about forgiveness. And even if you choose not to move forward with the relationship in life, it's better to end all relationships on a positive note. If wherever possible now it's not always possible that's that scripture we see that says um, um live at peace with all men in as much as it is possible for you to do so or however it says it but sometimes people don't allow us to live at peace with them especially if they won't say anything or if they say way too much right all right, so why is the Six of Swords in reverse here with this World card? What are we talking about here? We're talking about the we're talking about the divine saying this is the end of this uh, this era, and you feeling like you're not ready for it to end because there's something there, and then we have a wheel of fortune. That's karma. That's a karmic driven wheel. When this wheel shows up, it's indicating that. Something that's happened is going to be balanced out by karma. And that means we're going to learn a lesson. And the lesson I think here has to do with forgiveness. All right, clarify this karmic wheel. All right, we have the lovers in reverse. We have victory and we have the ace of cups. That, that's what I'm feeling exactly is that there's somebody who wants to move forward. 
you're loving yourself, you're feeling yourself, you're being, you're being victorious in your life. That's the wheel. There's no choice but this, this love. This could be self-love or this could be a new love. We're going to clarify it. But this is recognizing. This is being recognized. Somebody may be in a wheelchair and they might also do, be sports and have to play sports and be athletic. Um, but somebody may play ball and win medals for that. Somebody's definitely in a wheelchair and somebody definitely plays basketball. This is a decision, but when it's in reverse, there is no decision. It's already been decided that you are going to be victorious and have. E and your name might be Victoria. You're either going to have a new love or you're going to just love yourself. And there's no decision. You've already made it. All right. Clarify it, the lovers, please. Why is the lovers in reverse? All right, the lovers is in reverse because there was that, there's that five of swords and two of pentacles. There was a lot of fighting. A lot of things were said. And you can't, you cannot take back what you said. Once you've said it, it's said, <clears throat> the damage is done. This relationship was way out of balance. For some reason. Can you clarify this relationship please? Ooh. Okay. Somebody was partying too much. The three of pentacles is in reverse. The three of pentacles is like making plans, looking for an opportunity, it's looking for an opportunity to do something different. You're looking to see how um, you're assessing what to do next or how to move forward because the threes are about moving forward. But somebody was, they were partying too much. You have a three of pentacles, a three of cups, and a page of cups. <clears throat> now, this person that you were fighting with is showing up as a child. But they don't necessarily have to be a child. This could just be a very immature adult. That Because when you party like that, to that extreme on a daily basis, it will make you an immature adult. And I don't think that you intended for your partying to go to this extreme but because your partying went to this extreme and there was a lot of arguing and fighting and a lot of blaming it hurt a lot of people it hurt you it hurt the person you were married to or engaged to or living with and it hurt these children it hurt your friends and over here, it's showing that you didn't mean for that to happen. And maybe you're planning on apologizing for this behavior. Why is the Six of Wands here? Why are we um, being recognized? Strength in reverse. Strength in reverse would be a weakness. So maybe we have no choice but to recognize our weakness. Maybe that's what this is about. Clarify the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups can be self-love. And when we love ourselves, sometimes we have to recognize our weakness, don't we? Okay, so... The Ace of Cups is clarified by the Eight of Cups in reverse. The Eight of Cups is about walking away from things that don't serve us anymore, like the drinking, 
or somebody who's always drinking, so we have to pack up and leave that person because we can't stand the fighting anymore. So this love right here is represented by somebody. I think it's a friend. I think this is a friend. I think whoever it is, you have a weakness for this. You have a real weakness for this person. Could be a Leo, it could be a Gemini. All right. Clarify the Eight of Cups in reverse and strength again, please. This became a real nightmare, all this fighting. Something happened. Something happened. This could have been years ago when this happened. Let me look at this. You could have been partying with somebody and you weren't planning on it. You could have been partying and you didn't plan on having this child. It could have been a pregnancy or a child involved. Because this person tried their best to not walk away. Like they needed your help, but you didn't help them. And now you're recognizing, somebody's recognizing that they didn't have a choice. Why didn't they have a choice? We always have a choice, right? Why didn't they have a choice? Who didn't have a choice? The Ten of Pentacles and the Stone of Wands. If it was upright, that would mean this is a very happy family. They have it all. And the Seven of Wands is like... Stay away from here with that negativity. We we are piecing we are piecing out here, uh -huh. right? And what was it we were gonna have help with today? Grounding and wisdom. <clears throat> and there's something going on here with this family because this came out in reverse. So somebody's family didn't like somebody else or they didn't like the idea of you being with that person because they were their family and they didn't tr like this would be trust trusting yourself and being like we don't care what you say we know who we are this is like <laughs> we don't trust you we don't know you you're not part of us you're not one of us this could indicate a pregnancy. I think that maybe somebody was pregnant and they got ghosted a long time ago. I don't think it was recent, but it could have been. And that's what this is about. It's allowing yourself to feel the emotion and to express to somebody else how that makes you feel. Because as long as we keep it in our head and we don't speak it out of our mouth, it continues to have power over us in all of our future relationships. So even if you decide this relationship is not for you, the next relationship will be just the same because we carry that baggage with us if we don't lay it down somewhere. And you're having an opportunity to lay this down today. All right, anything else you want to say about that? situation right there with that ace of cups and somebody recognizing that they didn't have a choice about this baby or about this um this love they weren't given somebody wasn't given a choice and it looks like there's an apology coming but if that's not an apology, that's a very immature energy. Still, okay, here we go. 
this is the other thing Spirit wants to say about this situation. There's a man, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that really loves somebody. This is a very loving, very spiritual man. He might like to go fishing. He might like to drink cold beer. He might like to listen to good southern rock and roll. He even might like um, heavy metal. He loves somebody. And he he wants to move or, or he wants to move quickly, but he wants to talk also. But there's a devil where he's headed. Why is he headed towards this devil? That Capricorn's here now. Because of this. This man's in the upright. This man's not. Hmm. That's interesting. This would be, um, if he was upright, this would be an emperor and a younger man that had an exciting message that he was going to tell somebody. But it's in reverse. And I asked why was this man headed for a devil? And this is what I got. So this man is trying to talk to an emperor in a hurry about a devil. Why are they talking about this devil? Clarify this devil, please. What message could they possibly have about this fighting and not wanting to fight anymore? Is this the, is this the message about forgiveness? Clarify the five of wands. Why do they want to talk about, who are they talking about? Are they fighting with each other? Not only are they fighting with each other, they they can't move forward. There's no moves. They're out of moves. They might play chess, but they right now are out of moves. What is their and what is the nature of their um, relationship spirit? What is the nature of these two men's relationship? Because it sure looks like it's drug related. But it doesn't have to be. What is the nature of their relationship, Spirit? Okay. They, they're fighting over this woman right here. They want, they but. They, well, let's see. Why is the stalemate here? Who has the stalemate? I'm trying to figure out if this is the same person. It doesn't feel like it. No. Somebody's very unhappy. I think it's this woman, but she's in the upright. Somebody had too many choices. Clarify the sun in reverse. Please clarify the sun in reverse. There we go. Okay. The empress came out sideways. Huh. Okay, so what about the Empress? Can you clarify the Empress? I'm going to put everybody back now except for the Empress and see if I can get some more answers. I want to find out who is dealing with this Empress and why. I've got a very heavy load. 
a ten of wands, and a page of wands. So it can be a child and a lot of responsibility. Why is this Empress here? Somebody's been manifesting. Clarify what's been manifesting. This page, this page of cups is what they've manifested. And they're in reverse. And I want to tell you, I think that this is the emperor. Why is this page here? Because of a nine of wands in reverse. Nine of wands has that feel of, I just can't take it anymore. I've got to have some help here. I can't do this by myself anymore. There might be three children involved here and one on the way. Why is everything coming out in reverse that's being manifested? Because of all that fighting. It's all in reverse though. You got the page of cups, the nine of wands, and the five of wands all in the reverse. The only thing in the upright is the magician. It, why is this magician here with all of this nonsense? <laughs> because this nonsense is why this empress is leaving the situation. I see the packing done here. I see the packing done here. This person is simply fed up. They're fed up. That's the new beginning. That's the wisdom. That's the inspiration. All right, clarify how you're working in our surprise for today. How are you working in our surprise? Spirit said, take all the cards back up. Shiny Ace of Pentacles and a Knight of Wands. All right, how are you working in our surprises today? It's gonna be a wheel. There's that same card again. <laughs> We got the Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Swords in reverse, and the Hierophant in reverse. Why is the Six of Swords and the Hierophant in reverse under our relationship? I mean, under our surprise. Oh, goodness. <laughs> look, look who fell out on the floor. <sighs> because we're not going to have a relationship with a player with an irresponsible, immature person who's never wrong, never admits their part in anything, parties all the time, flirts with other women, probably even sleeps with other women because they hang out from bar to bar all the time. They bar hop, typically. I mean, they have their good qualities, just not usually in relationships. Alright, so that's about us. We're going to be solitude because we're not going to have this person with us anymore. And we're going on an adventure. And it has something to do with music. And it could be a new job as a nurse. Maybe you're a nurse for hospice. Maybe you're not sick at all. Alright, what else? Clarify our surprise further, please. Okay. There's communication coming in. There's a man that wants to talk to us, and he is a king. He is a very wise but loving. He's a spiritual person, or at least he is intuitive, and he has a lot of questions. Big, in, he, he's philosophical. 
he likes to talk about religion and he likes to think very deeply about religious things. He's very open-minded, um, very mature. Why is the King of Swords here? What does the King of Swords want? What does the King of Swords want with us? They want to talk about something. What do they want to talk about? Dang. They want to make a romantic gesture. That's our surprise today. If that's not them and they want to talk about somebody else that wants to make one, clarify which it is. They want to talk to you about somebody who lied to you. Something from the past. They want to talk about the past. And they somebody lied. The, the Ace of Swords is in reverse, which would indicate that somebody lied. This is the Six of Cups. That's the past. Somebody's looking back at the past. And see how they look different in the past? They don't look quite like themselves. Sometimes the past can be distorted by time. And they're coming in with a quick message about this and they want to talk to you about it. Well, what does this Knight of Cups have to do with anything then? He's the one, I think, that did this. This, this is the one, they, okay, this person, I think, wanted to make a romantic gesture, or maybe did that, I don't know, we're going to pull a card on it, but when I said, what did this person have to do with it, maybe he's saying that he was just younger, and this is saying that, like, that would be, I didn't think, you would take my love this would be I didn't even try I think that's him when he was younger even though it's a different sign entirely he probably swept you off your feet one night clarify what you're saying here spirit Clarify what's being said here. Are these the same people? And why did not why did this not work out? The nine of wands in reverse. What did he not want to be responsible for? Because the Nine of Wands is a lot of responsibility and stress when it's in reverse. Or does he want to help this person now? What is going on here? Oh, wow. Uh -huh. Okay. I have the Empress. The Seven of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Lovers in Reverse, and the Two of Wands. So that air sign could definitely be a Gemini. I think that this person wants to move towards you and they want to apologize to you about the way they handled things in the past when you were younger. I think you've known this person from the past. Clarify that to be true. There's that new start. 
somebody's thinking about this new star, and it could involve a child. All right, but does that clarify that this was an old relationship? Maybe you were supposed to have a new start, but there was a child, and they didn't want to deal with that. Yeah, they left you out in the cold for a few reasons. For one, you were very intuitive, like psychic. You were able to see very clearly through situations. You were what some people would call odd or different, and they knew that. They left you out in the cold, and not only did they do that, they planned it. They looked for an opportunity. Why is it all in reverse, though? That family that didn't like you. Oh. There's that Queen of Pentacles. And then there's somebody that ended up in prison or in a situation that's like prison. Was it her? Who ended up in prison, Spirit? Or in a prison? Let me put her back and let's see if it was her. Can you show me who ended up in this prison? Somebody who couldn't walk away. Alright, let's see if we can find out who's in the prison. Could it be that air sign? And that's why he was a water sign when you first met because he's been locked up. Look, look who came out for being locked up in prison. Maybe you recently reconnected. Oh, y'all, how in the world did I just pull the emperor and the empress together like that? Can you show me what's going on here? Can you show me who's in prison? Hmm. Somebody moved too fast. Why was the Ace of Wands in reverse? That can be anger or it can be... <clears throat> I think somebody was having an argument. Somebody, somebody was fussing a lot. What else? How did it get transformed? Green moths or butterflies. Somebody has skulls in their home. Somebody likes unicorns. Okay. There's that nightmare down there on the floor reverse. That dark night. Somebody was moving too fast. They weren't in love. They just were in lust. And they probably ended up with a child that they didn't raise. What else? Who is this and why are they in jail? There she is again. She moved away. She might be the one in jail. This Queen of Pentacles might be the one in jail. But she's not in reverse. Why did she move away? The tower. That's temperance. Weakness and the hermit. I think this person realized that there was no chance of that relationship doing anything different. So they simply left. They left. 
the guys or you guys to them. You wouldn't you wouldn't deal with them or have anything to do with them, so they left. What happened to the emperor? Seven of Wands. Clarify the Seven of Wands for what happened to the Emperor. Look at there. Gemini again. Not wanting to have, not wanting to carry this load. They were like, no, you can take that elsewhere. So that's what this person did. They took it elsewhere. Alright, so somebody needs their help. To be um, blessed. Why is new beginning showing up on my table? Who's getting this new beginning? Oh, a fire sign. It's very excited. What? What kind of new beginning are they getting? Wow, these cards are flying away. Hmm. <laughs> That's, that's ghosted. That's ghosted. Somebody that was supposed to be engaged. You know what it looks like to me? I'll be honest with you. It looks like the person who hurt you so badly is now going through the exact same thing they put you through. But not by you, by somebody else. Who is doing this? Who's doing all of this ghosting and hurting? Whoa. Five of Cups, Three of Pentacles, the Moon, the Four of Pentacles, and the High Priestess in Reverse. Three, four, five. Huh. They're not using their intuition. They're barely stable. There's a lot of illusions. And they're trying to seek the grief. They're trying to look at their grief. Can you show me who this is? All right, now they want to make a decision. What decision are they making? The end of this. They're going to end this. Who are they ending it with? It's that fire sign. Who I think is also air sign, but they're mad. And yeah. They're in this prison. They're in this prison because of something. Because of some karma. That fire sign is that air sign and they're in they're in this solitary place. Because they weren't using their intuition. And they did somebody real dirty. Alright, now we know what's going on, I guess. Can you show us? Okay, they're partying. They're taking a break from partying. This person is taking a break from partying. This person that was incarcerated or in this situation that's like prison. What do they have to do with this spread today, this new beginning? Huh. They recognize unconditional love. They're, they're going to get recognized. Like, you may be that person and you've turned your life completely around. That's your new beginning. Six of Wands and Ten of Cups. Alright, that was the fool we had too while ago, so that was technically the end of the message. Alright, talk to me about the outcome for today. Talk, talk, what are we going to hear about for about this communication? 
Oh, there's our communication. Somebody's going to come and tell you real quick they're not happy. Or they're going to have somebody tell them real quick. Who is not happy? Somebody that didn't take their love. What does that have to do with anything? They had other choices. Does this sound familiar? It's the same thing they did to you. What's going to be the outcome? Oh, baby. They're about to stand in that power. I, I truly believe that this person, who is putting them through this spirit? Somebody that's not using their intuition. Can you show me who that might be? Can you show me who this high priestess is? Oh my goodness. It's a fire sign and an empress. Why is the Empress in reverse? Can you show me why the fire signs upright and why is the Empress in reverse? He's the one who is doing this to her. He's the one that's doing this to her. And I guess he's with her. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is, are these two the same people? Is there anybody else involved in this? These might be the same people. Who are they taking a break from? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one is treating this one. This is who they're taking a break from. Remember him? This is the one who treated this person so poorly. When this woman treated this man poorly, he grew up. So guess what happens when this man treats this woman poorly? She's gonna grow up and she's gonna start using her intuition and she's gonna end up being a very powerful person. Well, let's clarify that. This woman is getting the exact same thing that she put this man through. Well, we'll reverse the role if you need to. What's going to happen to this empress? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. She doesn't know it, but her, her dreams are about to come true. She's not even looking for this to happen. Why are her dreams about to come true? Can you show me, Spirit? Why are her dreams about to come true? I 
<sighs> y'all this family has some deception in it and look who came out way over here who is this deceiver the one that's telling the lies is somebody telling lies can you show me who this is that's telling these lies I have Sagittarius, I have Leo, and I have Independence, but it's all in reverse. That would be like no self-control, weakness, and completely dependent on somebody for everything. Can you show me who this is? Somebody that they cheated with. Remember I said somebody had cheated? Show me who they cheated with. Probably that fire sign. Can you show me who they cheated with? <clears throat> okay, that was that nightmare, and that's why they moved somewhere else. And there's the tire. All right, what what happened when they realized this, this was happening? They wanted to come back. Who was the liar and the cheater? Huh. The one that was doing all this fighting. The one that was doing all this fighting and caused all this trauma. Can you show me who that was for certain? why this cycle hasn't closed. Show me who the liar is, please. The one that either left you out in the cold or got left out in the cold. The one who was breaking all these hearts. Can I see who it is? Somebody manifested victory over this. I know it wasn't the Queen of Cups. It has to be They were taking too much and not giving anything in return. Who was this? Can you show us? They were talking junk. There they are. Look, 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 y'all. <laughs> Ta-da! That Empress. That Empress. What's going to happen now with this Empress? Is she still locked up? Clarify this Queen of Swords. Whoa. Y'all. Y'all are not going to believe this. The Queen of Swords is clarified by the Emperor and the King of Swords in reverse. That is the one who caused all this to grow up. All these people to grow up. Somehow, this is the one. This is the one that has this sadness the family didn't like they were untrustworthy dependent on everybody lying to everybody it was either her or it was him she's in the upright can you show me which one of them it was i'm gonna put them both back in different places can you show me which one of these people was the liar and the cheat and the manipulator. They both came out, didn't they? Can you show me who the liar is? 
There's that page of cups again. And there's that prison. It's a friend that was in prison. That's doing a reevaluation. Who was it though? I think it's that Queen of Swords. Can you clarify it to be the Queen of Swords, please? Oh, wow. <laughs> no, I cannot because guess who it was? It was him when he was younger. It was the um, King of Swords when he was younger. It was the King of Swords when he was younger. This has been a long story. I don't know whose story it is, but somebody is going through something because this person is trying to come back into your life. And I don't know if you will have him back, but I do think it's important that we put these resentments behind them so we can have healthy relationships with whoever we choose. But why is this person back? Why do they want to come back in? Or do they want to come back in? Show me what's going on. Why is this showing up on my table today, please? Why is this showing up on my table today? There's a tower because this person wants to come back. Why do they want to come back all of a sudden? What happened? Somebody was talking shit. <laughs> And they recognized that the commitment was over. Over with who? The Hierophant. Oh, my goodness. It was the King of Pentacles that was being deceptive and out of balance. What should this person do now, Spirit? Or somebody was actually deceiving that King of Pentacles. Somebody was deceiving that King of Pentacles and caused him to be in a nightmare. Who did this? The person reevaluating thing. Can you show me who did this very specifically? Who did this to this King of Pentacles? Oh, Bubba. He did. This could be same sex. Why did he do that to the King of Pentacles? To transform what? Why is death here? Was he trying to kill him? Oh. He was doing it for him. Because he was getting even with him for screwing with his stability. And how did that work out for the King of Wands? That's what I thought. <laughs> he's about to go to jail or get out of jail. This could have been a while ago and he's about to get out. He might have been, he was probably protecting this man because he worked for this kingpin. And somebody was trying to, you know, like somebody had tried to get this kingpin in trouble. And this person worked for the kingpin. And he, he had his back. And he pulled time because of it. So what's gonna happen now, Spirit, to this um, this um, person that was working? They're gonna be strong, and they're fixing to have a new start. Why is the full in reverse, though? See, that's the end of the message. Why is the full in reverse? The 
exercise of judgment. You gotta have judgment first. Somebody's gotta judge this correctly first. And when they do, this woman right here that loves him, <laughs> she don't know it yet, but her dreams are about to come true. That's a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. She don't, she don't know. She's not planning this. She doesn't see this coming. Is this a good idea for her spirit? Will this really make her dreams come true? Should she take this person back into her life? Wow. Not only should you, it's going to be beautiful. A lot of honesty. This person's grown up a lot. They're a very patient person now. Probably good with kids. All right, that's all I'm going to give you from that today. That was a long freaking message. All right, Spirit, what else do you want to say before we close this message? What, what can we surrender? Spirit, what should we surrender? Surrender stubbornness and surrender to effortlessness. Go with the flow. Don't force anything. It'll happen when it's supposed to happen. What else, Spirit? Surrender your negative thinking. <laughs> Surrender rest and sleep. Some of you not getting enough sleep. And I know I didn't get any last night. I'm about to go to sleep on the beach here in a minute. Surrender to trust and surrender to joy. And then on the bottom of the deck is don't be defensive. Listen to what people say and don't react. Give it time to settle and respond accordingly. All right, Spirit, what would you give us out of this deck for whoever might resonate with this video? This has been a very different video. What would you give us out of this deck? I'm hearing the name Book or Booker. I got a lot here. I got meditation, grove, listening, hope, and differences. And then on the bottom of the deck, I have honesty. You have, you're going to have your differences because you're different. That's how twin flames are. But if you'll meditate... I don't know what Grove is. Let's see what Grove is, number 21. The goddess of night invites you to my grove to meal your wounds and mend your, and mend your heart. Yeah. Now is the time to apologize to anyone you have harmed. Make your friendships whole again and choose healing over anger and pain. Choosing my beautiful grove is a powerful sign that you are at a wondrous, strong time in your life. Show compassion and kindness to others. No, no one is perfect, yet imperfection is perfect as it is. If you are hurting, know that it will pass and that I watch over you. If someone you love is hurting, take the time to be there for this person. The sacred grove heals all aches and pains, especially a heart that has been wounded. That is so perfect for this message. All right, y'all. I'm not going to... I'm done. I'm, that's it. I'm done. Watch for this beautiful, beautiful message. Stan. I hope it's made good sense. <clears throat> I have believe, family, courage, commitment, Friend, blessed, hope, peace, and help. All right, you guys, that's the daily message for today, and 
I'll be back again to do another one at some point. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for everything you do, all of your comments, for liking the videos. And I just love you guys. You're my heroes. I hope you have a blessed day. All right. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.